my question is for Dutch, if you can remember the man who trained and transformed Harley Race into one of the toughest wrestlers, Stanislas Sabisco, who trained mm-hmm. many young men in legi- into legitimate shooters, and Harley Race even claimed that he would be uh, put into submission holds for Harley to Race to escape. Does whole uh, old school shooters have an advantage on the more n- um, new day wrestling, etc.? Anyway, uh, uh, we'll leave that for now. But Stan- Stanislas Sabisco, did you ever uh-huh. meet him? Never met him, but I heard about him. He was allegedly one of the toughest amateur wrestlers ever because he had, they had these certain moves and like one move that the guy, that he could put you in a... Oh, the sugar hole. Uh, but he can actually pull the shoulder out of socket and you got to be taught how to do that. And when he, when he leaves, he could actually put it back in before he leaves if he wanted to, but to leave it out, serious injury, serious, serious injury. And they had different ways to hurt different people. And one guy showed me this hold. He said, if you take your thumb or your finger and Say a guy sitting down, you want him to get up. If you take your finger like this and run it right here and you push up, he's going to come up with you. He has no choice. He's going to come up to try to get away from the pressure. And you keep, and you don't have to pick him up. He gets himself up because he's trying to get away from the pressure. Here's a story of one guy come up to me one time and I was talking to these girls. You know, hey, Dutch, how you doing? I'm talking to him. And he come up, a he, he, complete asshole. <clears throat> he said, hey, Dutch, hey, man, you know, that's, that's fake stuff, right? Now, he would never have come up, but I think he liked one of those girls that were talking, that was talking to me. And I said, what? He said, yeah, we know it's so fake, man. But, if he's, but I could tell he was showing off, acting up because of the girls were there. I said, give me your hand. So he put his hand up, and it's called a Grecian handlock. So I got him here. And and you can try this. And if you take somebody and squeeze your fingers, these three, and you can't squeeze your little one, you could drop him to his knees, which is what I did. And I dropped him to his knees, and I said, now, what did you say? Hey, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, now, I want you to tell every one of these lovely young ladies here that you apologized for interrupting their conversation. And he wouldn't say it, and I put the pressure on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I kept him down on his knees, humiliating him, and I wasn't doing anything. I didn't hit him. I didn't punch him. I didn't try to take him down. I just and an old time shooter showed me that move. You can try it sometimes because it hurts like hell. So and I finally laid him up. And I said, "Now you need to get the hell out of here." And he left. I never saw him again. But just a little move like that, with no effort really on my part, my voice never changed. I didn't, you know, take him down or nothing. And I dropped him to his knees. Hell, I surprised myself. <laughs> but, but he never came up to me again, and uh, I don't know what happened to him and the girl. I guess he was too embarrassed to even talk to her later on. You know, one thing I was always taught <clears throat> when I was younger and in my training days was um, if you really want to make someone move, uh, get your thumb and forefinger and grab their eyelid. Yep. Let me tell you, they will move quickly. You're not kidding. Yeah, You get to those sensitive parts. Here's another thing. Hook the nose. Yeah. If you're behind them, you hook that nose. They're going to come up. I remember I got in a fight in Bowling Green, Kentucky. This guy stood up, and I've, I've said this before. He he didn't hit me with a punch. He just clotheslined me right across the face so hard that he busted my nose, and I was bleeding. And, brother, I went after him, and he's backing up, and we're going through chairs, and he's kicking chairs, and and then I finally got him down, and my partner joined in, but he was sitting on his butt, and I hooked him by the nose, and I pulled up. I swear to God, his nose had to be hanging that much at the end. So I, I let him go, but 
he would have to go home and I, I bet his nose hurt for at least two weeks. Had to. But anyway, you know, that throwing hands and all that stuff, that's bullcrap. That's the stupidest thing you can do. Yeah, right, okay. No there was, shit. There was, there was a, a, a remake of Roadhouse. I said it was a series eight ago anyway. It was a film with Jake Gyllenhaal. And there's one thing that's actually very true in it, at least from the trailer. It's like, why do you slap everybody instead of punching? It's because yes. you can break your knuckles when you're punching. In a, in yeah. a sense, punching somebody is the nicest thing you can do to them because you can slap them, it covers more area, it keeps your hand safe, or you can, if you're close, you can elbow them. You know Which who told me that? Is. Don Harris. He used Don to be a, yeah, one of the Harris boys. Oh, he yeah. said, D- don't, don't ever punch them. I said, why? Well, he said, open hand slap them. He said he was a bouncer. Him and his brother both, Ron, were, were, were bouncers. And when they had to get rough with somebody, they wouldn't punch them. They would just open hand slap them into next week. And sometimes it would knock them out. You, you've seen the new show they got on TV. It's called Slap Happy or whatever oh, it is. Oh, that, that power it, slap thing. It's nonsense. Oh, and they it? knock each other out. He said, don't ever punch them because you got to hit them just right to knock them out. He said, if you hit them one time and, you know, and uh, hey, I've seen women. I've been, what was Rousseff's uh, Lana, girl's name? Lana. Lana. She C- slapped CJ me. Perry now. If we yeah, remember. she slapped me one time and she says, well, how do I slap you? I said, bring it in. Bring it in. Well, if I had to do it over, I would say, listen, <laughs> she hit me so hard. I swear to God, she damn near knocked me down. Boy, that was the hardest slap I've ever gotten. And I will never, ever tell her, <laughs> C.J. Perry, to hit me again. <laughs> I'll be going, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, I, they, they, there's certain little things you need to do, and you, you it, it doesn't take a lot of training for it. Any Anybody can do that. 